Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with the third look with the Frosty the Snowman and uh, this is a new ColourPop holiday palette. And so I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I've got on and we'll get going from there. And so I did go ahead and use combination. Started with the Maybelline Super Stacy Plus and 102. Added in the ColourPop Liquid Lights and the Milani um, Conceal and Perfect Bronzing Drops in 110. So I mixed out the three of these to go ahead and uh, get my uh, base for today. And then as far as what I did for a concealer, um, I actually went ahead and used this right below the eye. And then I used uh, this one from e.l.f. right on the eye as a base. This is one of their camo, their creamy formula. And I just find it, um, it wraps on to the eyeshadow a little bit better than some of my other, um, it's, some of my other concealers that are a little bit more dry. So I'd like to go ahead and use this one right on the eye itself to go ahead and be a base for eyeshadow. To go ahead and use the Shy Shade by ColourPop uh, to go ahead and be the actual uh, blush today. And as far as what I have on for the lips, I did go ahead and use Spare Love Scares. Uh, this is from Wet n Wild and this is part of their Nightmare Before Christmas collection and so I did go ahead and use that and then I put some of the Metaglow by Essence as well on there. So that's the deep dark burgundy look and uh, they came out with some really fun colors. These are lip and cheek colors and like today I'm only using it on the lip and like I said I have a lip gloss on top. But it does turn up as a really pretty matte shade. It's really pretty. And then as far as what I did, and I know I'm kind of jumping around, but um, for the highlighter I use the Icicle Spree. This is a Super Shock highlighter from ColourPop. It has purple, orange, and pink in it swirled into it. Um, it comes off more as a pink highlighter. It's really cute. And it was one of the add-ons for the Frosty the Snowman palette. And then I also, and so there were two Super Shock highlighters in there. The other one is called Winter Wonder. Yeah, Winter Wonder. And so it's a really icy highlighter. Really icy, icy highlighter. The whole the whole thing is an icy collection, and I think that's probably um, a lot of where the holiday stuff is going this year. At least it seems to be with Huda doing the icy nudes palettes. So, um, yeah, just to go through real quick what I did. I did the um, Essence Make Me Brow in Brown, and then I did the Lash Without Limits uh, by Essence for the mascara, and I used a little bit of the Volume Stylist as well as the Lash Without Limits. So uh, that's what I did there, and I think I added in a little of the Panorama mascara as well. So yeah, I've been playing around with the makeup today, and what sort of happened was that I kept on wondering why with this palette that it's almost like a fairyland palette if you actually look at it. And it's really cute. The frosty on here is the frosty that you see in the Christmas special, the cartoon every year. And um, they have him on the back with the kids as well. So it's really cute there. But I kept on wondering with this palette, why is there a black, a black with glitter, and a charcoal gray in this particular palette? And so I thought, well, maybe I need to use them as base because with the multi-chromes and with the glitters, they always say, you know, go ahead and put a strong matte base underneath um, your glitters or your multi-chromes and they'll make them show up more. So that's what I've done, and that's the look that we've got. I went ahead and used the black, and I used it as a base. I used it all over the entire lid. And then what I did was I went ahead and I took this shade in the inner corner, and I went from here to here, and this is the purple that's showing up here. 
And then I did go ahead and use this shade, which is a glitter shade. And I went ahead and used it right in the middle of the eye. And I went ahead and used this shade, which is another glitter. And I went ahead and put it on the outside of the eye. And I did go ahead and use one of the Handy Eye and uh, Gel Eyeliners to go along with it as far as my eyeliner. And with this particular palette, I'm thinking that's why they included these. And I was a little bit, I thought that there would be, you know, a brown or something. And instead it was all these black charcoal gray and a black with glitter in it. So I, that's the only reason I can think that they would go ahead and put these in here. I think they do actually help uh, both the glitter and the multi-chrome sh to show up better than they usually do. Oh, and I did use this one, and this one it, I put it under the brow from here to here. Um, as far as the way that the eye look came out, so I really think it helps um, the multi-chromes and the glitters to show up better. Um, I would definitely suggest using a setting spray and going ahead. I use Glisten Up, but yeah, the sun, it's last legs here, um, as a face setting spray. And this one has um, a whole bunch of glow and glitter and stuff like that in it. But any setting spray will do, and it'll go ahead and help um, the, yeah, the look to go ahead and shine a little bit more. And, um, so I'm thinking that this palette actually has more versatility than I give it credit for because when I first looked at it, I just saw how light it is and how many shimmers there are in it. And I, you know, started thinking, well, it's going to be a fairyland sort of, but you can really get a dark look because this is really a dark look with it. Um, just to let you know, there are two glitters in here, and they're the Color Pop formula that you don't have to wear the glitter glue with. And then there are one, two, three multi chromes in here, and very few mattes in general. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and Color Pop really likes to put in those neutral mattes. So this is actually really different kind of palette for them and I'm really glad to see it and the fact that it actually has this much depth to it is something that I wasn't thinking of um, but if you have a holiday party um, yeah this one's hitting peacock party vibes all the way around as far as this blue look because it's so shimmery that it's just sitting there shimmering everywhere so um, yeah it's a fun palette and I would definitely go ahead and pick it up if you have a makeup lover and you're trying to figure out a gift this would work, work really well too um, and it's I would have with uh, palettes come out in the winter I find that they either run those deep dark colors like um, the deep dark purples or the deep dark burgundies or they do something like this where they go totally at the opposite into a fairyland into a snow kind of world frosty's world here of snow on the ground everywhere so yeah um this one that i thought didn't have the versatility in it really does and i it's pretty amazing it's that whole winter fairyland sort of thing that doesn't that uh, it doesn't get played up every year and it changes a little for every holiday season but i can really see this holiday being a lot of deep dark colors or going ahead and doing the really light fairy sort of twinkly looks and so yeah um I, it's a fun palette and i think that it's really good um, quality and it has some really different color pop formulas in it definitely would suggest going ahead and picking it up and uh, yeah this is the third look and um, still finding new looks so it's a good first style palette all right see you later